so this is going to be the last tier list on food and we are doing different types of vegetables let's go i've had a lot of different vegetables in my life and i have also not had some of these vegetables before so there are going to be a couple of never had so let me just add a let me just add a row and call it the never had row because i have i have not had every vegetable known to man i will i will admit that um, but I have had uh, a lot of vegetables. Artichokes. Eh, you know, artichokes by themselves aren't really that good, but when they're pickled, they're all right. Um, so I'll just give them a C. A regular. R. A regular. A regular. I never had that. Never had that one. Asparagus. Oh, a lot of people don't like asparagus, but it's actually pretty good. Especially, uh, I know, I'm, I'm going to say this a lot during this episode, but pickled asparagus... It's kind of nice. I've always liked me some asparagus. Avocado gets an A just because you can make it into so many different things like guac and stuff like that. Avocado is just so versatile and you can use it in so many different things. Beets are all right. Um, pickled beets are ass. Regular beets are pretty ass too. So they, yeah, yeah they're not that good. Bell peppers pretty delicious inside uh, different types of salads and things. Broccoli gets an S. Broccoli is very nice if it's raw raw broccoli is really nice steamed broccoli when it gets on mushy gross steamed broccoli pretty nice though brussels sprouts gets an a brussels sprouts are pretty delicious butternut squash i've never had butternut squash cabbage it's i it's all right you know it's just basic cabbage carrots are s carrots are delicious if you don't like carrots then we're we're different i guess because i really do like carrots Cauliflower is okay, I guess. Yeah, it's it's just a it's not that good. Celery, a you know a lot of people don't like celery because there's no flavor, but it's just like that's why it's so good because it doesn't have a strange flavor like beets or something like that. It's it's just like a you know, like you know you know flavor. You can dip it in pretty much anything. If you dip celery in ranch or peanut butter or anything like that, you can make it taste pretty good. Corn, S tier. Everybody likes corn. Well, okay, I won't say that. Not everybody likes corn. I guess, but I, I like corn. Especially the fact that you can turn corn into popped corn, that deserves an S by itself. Cucumbers, pretty good, especially when you dip them in sands. And the mommy, I've never had that one. Never had an eggplant. Actually, that's that's a lie. I've had eggplant. It's I when it's non cooked, it's it's okay. If it is cooked, it, it gets a little better, but I'll just leave it right there. Garlic. Just because of the, the different things that you can season with garlic, it gets a B tier. Garlic by itself is ass, but of course it's seasoning. Same with ginger. You can, ginger is kind of a strong flavor, but you know, they have ginger beer and stuff like that. I really do like ginger beer, pretty nice. Jalapenos, I didn't even know that was a vegetable, but I guess it is. Jalapenos are pretty good. You can put them on different, just about anything, especially pickled jalapenos or roasted jalapenos. Delicious. Kale, it's it's pretty good. It's more like a, um, it's more like a flavor type of thing. You can't really eat it by yourself. Like celery and Brussels sprouts and avocado and broccoli and carrots and and corn, you can only eat by yourself. And also cucumbers. And if you really want to, jalapenos, you can eat by yourself. Kale, you can't really eat by yourself. It's not really that good by itself. <laughs> Leeks. I don't know if I've ever had a leek. I'm sure I have, but I don't know what they taste like. So I'll just leave it down there. Lettuce, pretty good. You put it in salads and stuff like that. It's uh, very nice in salads. Mushrooms themselves are pretty good too. Uh, I like mushrooms on burgers. If you saute them and get them all nice and... And delicious, yes. Okra, never had okra. Onions. The versatility of onions puts it at A. Just because you can make so many things with onions, you can make them taste really good. Onions on burgers, also very nice. And onions also in different types of pasta can be very delicious if you cook them right. I'm not talking about raw onions, but I'm talking about sautéed onions. Snap peas, pretty good, pretty good. Not the best, but no, decent. Potatoes, goaded. Just because french fries exist, potatoes are, go potatoes are goaded. Taters, you can put them just about anything. Pumpkins, C. You know, I don't really like pumpkin flavor that much. As you can see in my pie tier list, in the pie tier list, I put pumpkins, pumpkin pie at a, I think a D, put a D tier list, honestly. But pumpkins themselves, just because you can be able to make. I do like pumpkin spice, though. We'll put it at B, just because of pumpkin spice stuff. Radishes, eh, they're okay. Red onions, I think they, they're a little bit less than onions, but still pretty good. Scallions, pretty good, actually. Well, I'll put them out at C, though. They're not, like, absolutely amazing. Spinach is all right. I don't really like the flavor of spinach. It's it's not really something that's super delicious to me. Sweet potatoes, not as good as potatoes, but still kind of high up there at a B. I think that they're not they're not terrible. I don't really like the sweet 
And I don't really know how they're sweet, but they're all right. Tomatoes get an A. They're pretty good on, pretty good on just about everything. Well, okay, okay. Just about everything that tomatoes are normally on, it, they're pretty good. It's, it's not like they're in anything weird. They they belong in a lot of things. So, turnips, I don't really, uh, turnips are kind of strange, you know. Put them in a C. And zucchini, also a C. So even zucchini bread, when you doctor up zucchini a lot, you bake it and you sweeten it up, it's still not really that good. It, it's I. All right, so that's the tier list right there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll, I'll uh, hopefully start doing different types of videos. We'll, we'll move on from food into a different kind of video. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed, and hope you all have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.